അടുത്ത ഗസ്റ്റ് ഈഷ പരോൾ ഷീ ഇസ് ഫ്രം സാൻ ഹൊസെ കാലിഫോർണിയ ഷീ ഇസ് കറൻലി വർക്കിംഗ് ആസ് എ ഹെൽത്ത് ആൻഡ് ഫിറ്റ്നസ് സ്പെഷ്യലിസ്റ്റ് അറ്റ് അഡോബി ഹെഡ് ക്വാർട്ടേഴ്സ് ഇൻ സാൻ ഹൊസെ ഷീ കംപ്ലീറ്റഡ് ഹെഡ് ബാച്ചിലേഴ്സ് ഡിഗ്രി ഇൻ എക്സസൈസ് ആൻഡ് വെൽനെസ് ഫ്രം അരിസോണ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി ആൻഡ് ഹോൾഡ് സർട്ടിഫിക്കറ്റ് ആസ് എ പേഴ്സണൽ ട്രെയിനർ ആൻഡ് ഫിറ്റ്നസ് ന്യൂട്രീഷൻ സ്പെഷ്യലിസ്റ്റ് വെൽക്കം ഈഷ പാരോൾ അതുപോലെ ഇന്നത്തെ ഈ സെഷനിൽ പങ്കെടുക്കുവാൻ എത്തിയിരിക്കുന്ന നിങ്ങളെ എല്ലാവരെയും സ്നേഹപൂർവം സ്വാഗതം ചെയ്തുകൊള്ളുന്നു ഇന്ന് നമ്മളെ ഹെൽപ്പ് ചെയ്യാനായിട്ട് ഹോമ എത്തിക്കു നമുക്ക് ഒരു താമസമൊന്നും കൂടാതെ തന്നെ നമ്മുടെ ആദ്യത്തെ സെഷനായ സ്ട്രെച്ച് വിത്ത് മീ ഈഷയിലേക്ക് നമുക്ക് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്യാം ലെറ്റ് മീ വെൽക്കം ഈഷ പരോൾ ഈഷ ഓവർ ടു യു Hi everybody. Um like she said, is Isha for I'm a health and fitness specialist from at Adobe at uh, in San Jose. Um so if this is your first time if you weren't here last week, just a couple notes before we get started with the stretches. Um the intensity of all the stretches is going to be up to you. So if you feel like you need a little bit more or you feel like you need a little bit less, go ahead and adjust accordingly. nothing should cause any pain or worsen any pain um but if and if you feel any like numbness or tingling that's your cue to back off of that stretch a little bit so a slight discomfort is okay but we don't want any sharp shooting pains or any numbness or tingling in your fingers or toes okay so we'll start seated and then go into some kneeling work and then on the floor laying down so if you have a yoga mat go ahead and get that ready and then if you need a um like a pillow or anything underneath your knees if your floor is hard go ahead and grab that as well and you don't have to have your cameras on but it's more fun for me when i see you all right so we'll go ahead and get started Go ahead and sit comfortably. You can start in uh the seated part you can do in a chair or on the floor, whatever you prefer. But we'll start by relaxing the shoulders down away from the ears. Starting with a few neck rolls, let's take the right ear to right shoulder. Roll the head back. Left ear to left shoulder. And then tucking the chin down. So you're going to inhale as you come back and exhale as you tuck your chin down. If you feel like there are any spots that are a little extra tight, you can rock back and forth right there. You can hold it for a few seconds until you feel it release. All right, let's go ahead and switch directions if you haven't already. So we'll take left ear to left shoulder. Inhaling coming back. Exhaling and coming down. My cat wants to talk to all of you today. <laughs> Same thing here. If you feel like there's a spot that's extra sticky, hang out right there. <sighs> and relax. All right. So your next stretch is going to be an upper trap stretch. So that's this big muscle that goes through the neck and then down into your back. So we'll take right ear to right shoulder first. With your right hand, you're going to pull down on the head towards the right to stretch out the left side of the neck. I want to take big deep breaths here. We're going to hold for about 30 seconds for each of these stretches. If you want a little more intensity here, take your left hand and reach that hand down away from you towards the floor. 
All right, let's come back to center. I'll drop left ear to left shoulder, pulling down towards the left, stretching out the right side of the neck here. And then take the right hand and reach it down away from you if you want a little more of a stretch. All right, come back to center nice and slow. We have a couple more neck stretches. So we're going to turn the face to about 45 degrees to the right now. All right, so with your right hand, you're going to pull down at that 45 degree angle. You should feel a stretch going through the back left side of the neck. Okay, relax, and we're gonna switch sides. So let's go 45 degrees to the left, pulling down at that angle, stretching out the back right side. Nice deep breaths here. And remember, it shouldn't cause any pain. Come out of that and we'll go one more stretch for the neck before we move on. So now we're going to turn the face slightly to the right and tilt the head at an angle looking up to the top corner of your room. So this stretch should be right through the front side of your neck here. If you're not feeling that too much, you can pull, pull down with your left hand right at that collarbone and play around with the angle that your face is at. All right, relax and we're gonna switch sides. At that angle over towards the left, looking up to the, towards the corner of your room, and then pulling down on that collarbone area to get a little bit more. Okay. Then relax. Go ahead and shake your head no, nod yes. Any extra movements to get any kinks out of your neck? Okay, and relax. Moving into the, the arms and the shoulders, let's go ahead and take the right hand up overhead. You're gonna put the hand right in between your shoulder blades. And we're gonna aim for this tricep right here. So take the left hand, grabbing the right elbow, and you're gonna pull the arm over towards the left. Once you find that stretch in the tricep, you can lean over towards the left and feel that move down in towards the lats through the side of your body. Let's go about five more seconds on this side. All right, back to center. Before we switch sides, let's do a posterior shoulder. So we're getting into the back of the shoulder a little bit into the upper back. So let's take the right hand again and cross it across the body and hook it in that left elbow crease, okay? From here with your left arm, you're gonna pull diagonally to the left. So you feel a stretch going through your shoulder and even through your upper back right through here. Try to keep your shoulder down away, hiking them up like this. Okay, 
All right, relax, shake out that arm. And we'll move on to the other side, starting with the triceps, then we're gonna go lats and then post your shoulder. So let's take left arm up overhead, hand goes between the shoulder blades, right hand grabs the left elbow, and then we're pulling over towards the right. Once you find that, you can lean to get into the lats and the side body. Go about five more seconds. All right, relax, bring that arm down across your body now, hooking it in the right elbow and pulling diagonally to the right. Again here, remember we're not trying to hike up the shoulders towards your ears, you want a nice long neck. And big deep breaths. Okay, go ahead and relax, shake out your left arm. Okay. Moving into a few wrist stretches here. So we'll start with the, let's start right hand forward facing me. You're gonna pull back on the fingertips. So you got a stretch going through the front part of the forearm. You can rock in and out of this if it's super intense, or you can just hold here. All right, go ahead and flip the hands so that your fingers are pointing down. Then you're gonna pull back on the knuckles, stretching out the top part of the forearm. Again, you can rock in and out or just hold, whatever's comfortable for you. All right, relax, shake out that wrist. Get in a few circles here and any extra movements that feel good. And then we'll start on the left side. So hand faces me. You're gonna pull back on the fingertips. Rock back and forth, find what feels good. And then flip the hand, fingers pointing down, pull back on the knuckles, getting through the top of the forearm. All right, shake it out. And let's get some rolls in here and any extra movements that feel good. All right. Okay, moving into a little twist here. You're gonna take both hands and we're gonna rotate towards the right first. So I'm taking my right hand, it's going behind me. My left is gonna go on the outside of my right knee. From here, as I exhale, I'm gonna push a little bit deeper into that rotation. You may feel your back snap, crackle, and pop all throughout it. That's okay, as long as it doesn't cause any pain. I'm gonna inhale, unwind a little bit, and then exhale, push a little more into the rotation. Go one more time on this side. I'm gonna inhale and unwind, and then let's switch sides. So taking the left arm behind you, right arm crosses, and you're pushing against the left leg. 
as you exhale and rotate. Go one more time, inhale, unwind, exhale, twist. And then go ahead and unwind all the way nice and slow. All right, so that's it for all the seated stuff. We're gonna move into kneeling now. So if you have your pillow or a little blanket, go ahead and grab that. We'll start, we'll start on the knees first. Let's go ahead and tuck the toes underneath you and keep your heels together. So for this stretch, you don't want your heels to leave each other, all right? So heels stay touching. From here, you're just gonna sit back on towards your heels till you find a big stretch going through the bottom of the foot um, at the big toe. You can rock in and out of it because it can be kind of funky if you're not used to it. But there's tons of little muscles and joints and tendons and ligaments and everything in your feet. And when those can get really, really tight, it can cause pain in all sorts of other parts of your body. So you want to work on the feet just as much as you'd want to work on your thighs or your back or your calves. And remember here, you can put as much pressure as you want on it, so it shouldn't cause pain. You have the power to control that. Okay, let's come off of the big toes now. You're going to straight uh, point your toes and put the tops of your feet on the floor. We're gonna go in for like an ankle stretch right through the front of the ankles, even until you get the front of your shin, if you're really tight here. So keeping the heels together again, we'll go ahead and sit back on the feet. So if your heels start to flare out, push them back together or come out of the stretch a little bit. You can lean back as far as you can go with keeping your heels together. Notice if one of your ankles feels tighter than the other. For me, I definitely have one that's tighter. Okay, let's come out of that nice and slow. We're gonna go back onto all fours here. On your hands and knees, with your hands right underneath your shoulders, your knees right underneath your hips. If you guys did yoga last month, you should know this. All right, we're gonna start with some cat cows to get some movement through the spine. All right, let's go ahead and drop the belly, arch the back, lift your head, look up. And then as you exhale, we're going to reverse that, rounding the back, tuck the chin, and push the floor away from you so that you create more space in between the shoulder blades. As you inhale, you're going to arch the back, look up. Exhale, reverse that movement. Do a couple more with your own breath. I'll do one more together. We're going to arch, look up, inhale. Reverse that, round the back, exhale. All right, find your neutral spine. So that's right in between that arched position and the rounded position. 
From here, let's take the right hand and open up towards the right. And then thread that hand through this little hole right here. So you're gonna come all the way down, reach your fingertips forward as far as you can go. All right, let's do two more of that. We're gonna open up, do a big stretch going through the top side of your body here, the right side. Exhale, thread through. And we'll go one more before switching sides, opening up, reaching back, threading through as you exhale. Okay, come back to neutral. We got three, got three on the other side, right? So let's go opening up with the left, thread through. Open up again. Try to reach back and rotate. How far can you go? Thread through, reach your fingers forward. We'll go one more time here. Ready. Okay, let's come back to neutral. From here, we're gonna get into the inner thighs a little bit. So let's take the, I'll go left leg first so you can see. All right, we'll take the left leg and we're gonna come out to the side here. All right, so we're not bringing it too far forward, not quite yet, so we're going right here. From here, what you're gonna do is just shift your hips backwards until you feel a big stretch going through the inner thigh on the left side. I'm going to give you the option. You can hold it here when you find that stretch that's comfortable for you, or you can rock in and out and get that movement in. About five more seconds. All right, bring that knee back in, right underneath your hip. I'll take the right leg out to the side now. And from here again, we're gonna rock back and forth, or you can hold once you find that stretch. Go for about five more seconds on this side. Okay, and relax. Okay. Go ahead and lay down. We're gonna start with some of the supine stretches here. All right, Whew. I'll give you a second to get down here. Okay, let's start with a hip stretch. We're gonna take the right ankle and cross it over the left thigh, creating a figure four with your legs. First option is to push down on the knee away from you. And then let's go ahead and take the hands behind the left leg Keeping everything relaxed, you're just gonna pull that leg in towards your chest. Should feel a stretch going through that right hip right through here. Remember to keep your head and your shoulders relaxed. Don't wanna tense up through the back. We'll take a few deep breaths over here. Okay. 
Let's bring that left leg back down to the floor. Grab behind your right knee now, and you're gonna pull that leg. Keep it straight. Pull it in towards you. Feel a big stretch going through the back of the thigh. You have the option here to play with where your feet are pointing. So I like to floss and go through pointing and flexing my foot. Each position feels super different. So find which one you like the best. Okay, let's bring that right leg back down to the floor and then switching sides. So let's take left ankle, cross it over the right leg. We'll start with that little push, opening up the hips. And then let's go ahead and reach behind the right leg. You're gonna pull that leg in towards you. So you get a stretch going through the left hip. Keep everything nice and relaxed. Take a few big deep breaths on the side. Hey. Let's bring that right foot down, grab behind the left knee. Now pull that leg in towards you so you can feel it through the hamstring on the left side. And again here, option to play with where your, where your toes are pointing. Okay, relax, let's bring that left foot back down to the floor. And we'll start with some stuff for your spine. So we're gonna go into some lumbar rotations first. All right, so let's bring the knees up or the feet up so that your legs are up at a 90-90 angle. All right, let's take the arms out to the side into a T position and let your knees fall over to one side. So I'm going to the left first. Use your core, use your abs. You're gonna lift your legs back up and drop down over to the other side. So we'll take a few rotations here at your own pace. You're gonna exhale as you bring the knees down. Inhale up. So one thing, <laughs> all right, so you're here. What you wanna do is don't let your right shoulder come off of the floor, but you're gonna push that knee down towards the floor on the opposite side. You should feel a big stretch going through your back, your hips, wherever is tight. That's where you're gonna feel it. Go ahead, come back up to center. Straighten out the right leg. I'm gonna rotate again. Straighten out the right leg. Take the left leg across the body. And make sure you keep your left arm on the floor and your shoulder on the floor. Take a few more deep breaths on this side. Okay, come 
back up to center. All right, and then you can roll onto your side as you get up, or you can roll up however you would like. But there you go. All right, how are you guys feeling? Good. <laughs> good, 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 good. Great. Okay. All right. Thanks. Sorry about my cat meowing. It's he's oh, so oh, disrespectful. He does not care that I do this at all. He does this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys i hope you guys enjoyed that um like i said like last week take some time out of your week and do this for yourself a couple times a week couple even just like 10 minutes a day it feels so much better yeah, yeah it's you know you know the tax uh -huh. it feels so much relaxed. Relaxed. oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. just like literally just a little bit like even in between your meetings or when you're brushing your teeth just do a couple of stretches and it feels so good sure sure <laughs> All right, you guys. All right.